Hey guys, it's Milena and you're watching Maybe Milena. Today I have part two of the plant update video. Um, it was too long to put into one video. It was like 25 minutes and I knew that nobody wanted to see 25 minutes of me talking about plants. So I separated them up into two different videos. The first one was the smaller plants and this one is going to be the larger plants. And so I hope you guys really, really like it. If you do, please give me a thumbs up right down there and comment down below um, what plant was your favorite and let's get on into this video. Okay, so I'll be honest with you guys. I did film the clips for this video like mid early October it's now mid early September so that was a while ago so there have been a lot of changes in a lot of my plants so I'm gonna go ahead and add in a few clips from today so I'm gonna start with the smallest plant from the part one video it's the tiny cactus and it hasn't grown too too much since then but it has grown this whole new little that was there but it, it's gotten like a lot bigger and then right here I don't know if you can see that yeah right there that's completely new and all of these tiny little they look like like little cactus stickers but they're not their new little cactus heads growing and there's a whole nother head growing here like this cactus is just growing tremendously and I'm so proud of it um so I had to update you guys on that this second plant that needs updated from the part one video is my pothos. As you guys know, it was double potted and it wasn't doing too well because of that. And I finally got it single potted and it's still not doing good, you guys. Um, so I guess somehow in the process of potting and repotting and potting and repotting, I overwatered it. And it now has very, very bad root rot. And this is what it looks like. I have ink pins. I know this is ghetto. I'm so sorry. But I put ink pins in the soil and um, tied the plant to it as some sort of support for the vine to rest on. Because it was just getting so droopy. And as you can see, it's just not doing good at all. All of these leaves are dying. This next plant you have not seen unless you have me on Snapchat. And so you may not know how much this one has grown, so I'll insert a picture here. Okay, you saw it? Okay, so, <laughs> so this plant I got at Walmart. Um, wow, it's so big it's hard to show you. I got this one at Walmart a few, it's probably been a month ago, maybe, no, it's been two, because I remember I got it right after I did the plant update, and I was like, of course I would get a new plant right after I uploaded the plant update. Um, I think it was like the night after, or two nights after I uploaded the plant update, so it was crazy, but I wanted this plant when I did the plant haul and I didn't, I could not find it anywhere in Home Depot. So I got the pothos instead. And then of course, lo and behold, I walk into Walmart and it's sitting right there in the section where they have flowers by the door. And I was like, really, really? But um, it was $9 and 43 cents and it has grown so beautifully. It is another one that's facing the sun and it's really, really bad about growing towards the sun. I have to turn it every day or two because it will grow towards the sun. Um, but it's grown so, so much since I first got it. And I'm excited to see how much more it can grow um, in the next few months. This one is a, another new one. Even if you have me on Snapchat, you won't know about this one. I just got this one, not last night, but the night before last. When I potted my new, or my old plants, when I repotted my old plants, I got this one and this one was one that I had to rescue. So this plant is a plant that my grandma got to replace a plant that she had already killed. So she buys this one at Walmart and it's really similar to the last one that I showed you. It is a some sort of ivy. Um, I'm not sure if I think they're just different strands of ivy, different species, whatever, um, because they have a slight different color on the leaf. The last ivy had like a yellow color around the edge. This one's green all around. But um, anyway, this one's a beautiful, beautiful plant. 
but my grandma's already started killing it and that's why I had to rescue it. Um, it's way smaller than the last plant. I'm sorry, I kind of forgot to go in order, but um, way smaller than the other ivy plant, but it's in this huge pot, even bigger than my fern is in. So I'll probably repot it to a smaller pot and um, try to get it some more sunlight. My grandma didn't give it enough sunlight, um, and I think she might have been overwatering it a little bit. So I'm going to see if those few things fixes it and yeah, we're going to come back and show you an update in a little bit. Add me on Snapchat and I'll probably do a few updates there. Um, but it does show hope because it has these, it's really hard to see, these two tiny little babies right here growing and so I know that it's gonna it'll be okay I just have to doctor it up real good get it running again and she'll become a new beautiful plant just as big just as thick just as long and flowing as my other ivy plant another plant that I needed to update today is my ivy plant that I said that I got from my grandma and I said that she had buried the plant and it had been dying, but I thought that it was looking up now that I, well, I thought that it was looking up now that it was in my care and that I would be able to get it to do better. But, um, this is that ivy plant. Yep, I'm dead serious. Uh, it died. <laughs> Whoops. Um, really sad about that because that was such a beautiful plant. But I tried and tried and tried and it just wouldn't come back to life for me. So guess I'm back down to one ivy plant. <laughs> this next one I'm really excited to show you. I'm sure you guys already even know the order of how my plants go. So um, you probably know which one's next. But in my last plant update video, this one was one that I classified as a sad plant. Like it was starting to die, not really even die, it was just wilting a lot and I just couldn't keep up with how much water it required. But I finally buckled down and started watering it every single day, sprayed its leaves every single day and it has grown more than I can even explain. It is so beautiful and big and gorgeous. And of course, this plant is my fern. And you can see that it's grown some very long, I think they're called fronds. Um, I'm just gonna call them leaves because that might be wrong. <laughs> but yeah, very long leaves and very tall, very thick, um, and I'm just so happy to be able to say that it has grown, it has come back to life so, 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 so hard. So this next one you probably have noticed it missing from the background is my Dracenia lemon lime. Somebody pointed out to me that it's not a spider plant and I thank you so, so much for letting me know because that helps me to know you know, how much water to give it, how much sunlight to give it, because I was completely mislabeling this plant. But it has done so much better now that I actually know what it is. Um, before I found out that it was a Dracenia lemon lime, I believe I watered it way too much. So it has some yellowing and browning of the leaves. Let's see. There. Can you guys see? Yeah. There. Um, here. This one's hard to see because it's underneath, but here and a few other places. But um, since I found out that it's a Dracenia lemon lime and not a spider plant, I have been able to give it more proper um, care and it has done so, so much better. Um, if you look at it from this view, you can see that it is growing a new leaf on the inside. I believe this one's pretty new too. Um, but yeah, a new leaf on the inside, which is really exciting. Okay, so now for the last plant that has shown me most growth. Um, if you have me on Snapchat, then 
I'm sorry, it's not a surprise, you already know. But I'm completely ecstatic. I'm trying to use different words for my happiness because I'm tired of saying excited and happy. But I'm completely ecstatic about this plan. So this plant is the white bird of paradise. All right, so I know you can't see the leaf currently in this situation, but you can see how it's coming out of the stem right here. Yeah. Um, let me actually move it down some so you can see a little better. So it came out of this area in the stem and it started as just a tiny 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 little piece and it's just grown and grown and grown and grown um but it's just so exciting to have seen to have witnessed so this is the new leaf i'll insert some more clips of me showing you guys from a distance so that you can see it better I, um, I have no words for how happy that made me, so. And lastly, but definitely not leastly, the plant that I have to update once again because it's grown so much, you guys. I'm so happy. I love this plant. And the quality of the clip in, um, from the other day is really bad because it was like the sun was setting so I'm sorry about that but um the lighting's a little better now so I'm gonna show you this plant and it's grown even more you guys okay so you guys know this is my big baby and this is the new leaf you guys it completely came out and it just keeps shooting up and shooting up and getting taller and taller every single day. Like I cannot even keep up with the growth myself, you guys. There's no way that I could show you guys how much it grows. Um, but yeah, this is a new leaf. Um, I'm so proud of it. I really can't get a good clip for you guys. Um, hold on. Okay, so maybe this is a little bit better of a view. Uh, I scooted the camera back some. But yeah, this this whole leaf, not even a month ago, was completely not here. And it is insane to have been able to watch it grow so much. And I'm so proud of it. Okay, guys, so that was my plant update video part two. I hope you guys really, really liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up right down there and comment what you want to see next and I'll definitely do that for you guys and I'll see you again in about a week. Bye guys. Love you.